James Bond was the ninja. Today, we're going to be finding out exactly who were the ninja. But what if I were to tell you the word ninja did not exist in what? historical Japan? But if it didn't exist, where did it come from? The word ninja was first used in 1967 in the James Bond film You Only Live Twice. Ninja was used as a catch-all term for agents of spying, assassination, and sabotage. So the ninja are fictional characters created for Hollywood movies. As cool as that image is, it is a world away from real shinobi. So what does the word ninja even mean? The word ninja means the person who endures. Ninja would really have many names over their long history. The most famous name would be shinobi. Shinobi carries a similar meaning to the word ninja, but also means stealth, secrecy, and endurance. But the ninja at least wore that cool outfit, right? No. The famous ninja uniform never existed in the form we know it today. It actually came from Kabuki theatre as a means of hiding the stagehands against a black curtain backdrop. Real shinobi had no official uniform. They dress to match and blend in with the locals and their environment. So what did the ninja or shinobi actually do? The shinobi were spies. The mission of the shinobi was espionage, sabotage, and subterfuge. Most important was the information they could steal from their enemies. For samurai and daimyo lords, information was the most powerful tool and weapon they could have. So they made use of the shinobi, masters of spying, espionage, and stealth. Unlike the Hollywood ninja assassins, it was rare for real shinobi to engage in assassination. Or at least, they have left very little evidence to prove it was them. And finally, an extra fascinating and little known fact about the ninja and the shinobi. Women would play a huge role in the history of the shinobi and the ninja. Shinobi had strong female counterparts called the kunoichi. Like in the samurai class, women did more than their fair share of the work as well. The kunoichi were some of the best spies in medieval Japan. The kunoichi would use their guile to outsmart the samurai and steal vital information that could change the tides of war. The kunoichi were also masters of many different styles of combat, both conventional and unconventional. This made the Kunoichi a formidable opponent. So how do Japanese warriors end a video? They samurize it. First, the ninja were not real. The name was first used in Hollywood in the 1960s. Real ninja were actually called shinobi. The real ninja never dressed in black. Instead, they made use of disguises. The kunoichi were strong female counterparts for the shinobi, perfect for information gathering and even assassination. So did we leave anything out? Do you know any other fascinating facts about the ninja, the shinobi, or the kunoichi? If you do, drop them in the comments section below. And if you haven't already, please remember to click the like button and to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video.